Hello everybody and welcome to Honey Bunny Games. My name is Twister and today we're gonna to be playing Little Lands. So what is Little Lands? It is another Ludum Dare 38 game. The theme for that Ludum Dare was a small world. Today we're gonna to be playing on a really small world. So this is kind of a city builder-ish RTS survival tower defense game. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically we have this little land. We can actually randomize the spawn if we still choose it like this one, this one seems fairly decent. I guess I'll do it a few more times. Why not? Why not? Let's get a little squarish here. That's not too far. Yeah, that seems really nice. I really like that. Let's play it on this one. So, first of all, we're gonna have to build a town hall. We can build that over here. Now let's build it over here in the corner. Then we have to build a shipyard. And our goal is to build a ship over here. We build a ship by clicking on it. We transfer the resources from our inventory to the ship inventory once you have all the ship resources we actually make a ship and we can sail away so periodically uh, pieces of land will pop up from the abyss into our planet and that's gonna be really good for us and also we have this build there's some stuff popping up and also we got some wood with it awesome that's really good we can open our build menu we have a bunch of buildings we can build over here we will be building mostly all of them i actually have used every one of these except the wall then we actually found a use for them. And every every night, uh, our population eats the food. So we ate six food because we had six population. We have six spare workers. So we could do something like this. We can take, for example, let's... Uh, this actually seems really good. Let's take a tree. Place the tree here. This tree is gonna grow and it's gonna give us some apples over time. We can take the lumber mill and place it over here. And we can take a mine and place it over here. So now... Periodically, we will actually be getting stone and wood from these things. That's really good. We have two more workers. It requires two workers. Each one of these requires two workers. This, the oak trees don't require any workers. I feel like uh, that is really good. It takes a while for them to grow. But once they do grow, they become really, really nice. And I, I'm gonna actually try to use that. I really like the, the trees, to be honest with you. I really think they're fairly, fairly good. Let's also build some more houses. This will expand the size of our village and also give us more people. Also, they will have to eat more, so we need we don't have enough food to feed them all right now, which is really bad. Uh, hopefully, we get some apples before the end of the day, otherwise it'll become really unhappy. I should not have built this many of these, but yeah, it, it, gave, it gave me fifth population per. It's adjacent to a town hall. We also get food from the bottom, from the bushes. That could be fairly useful if that could happen to us, please. I should have built a farm, but I didn't build a farm. It's my own mistake. I guess I could build like a little windmill here in this field and build a farm adjacent to it. It's gonna require more workers. We have plenty of spare workers right now. Get like some farms around here. There we go, give me some food. Thank you, that should allow us to survive for quite a bit. Get this, the harvest all of these. We have to harvest food manually for now, but once we build a storehouse it will automatically collect all the food for us there we go some more wood always nice to see that we'll get enough food i think because we're gonna be getting more and more apples over time let's actually get all the farms ready not enough okay we don't have enough workers for the farm interesting that's not really good not really good at all let's give me some more food thank you very much i want to get more workers Probably shouldn't have built a town hall in the middle of nowhere because it's actually in danger now if pirates come. There are enemies here, we do have the arch tower to defend against them. But uh, right now it's hard to defend against them since there's like no land to place. Actually we can place a tower, a tower there if someone comes from that side. We'll be safe. At least I hope we'll be safe. Alright, more food coming in. I want to get the storeroom, it's fairly expensive. But it's really, really worth it, I think, in the long run. Because it's gonna just automatically collect all the food. We won't have to worry about food at all. It's gonna be pretty darn good. Zero workers, that's okay. Again, we can get more of them. Fairly easily. I like the bigger house because they cost the same, but this one takes less space. Although, if you place in your town, we'll get three population from this one and five from this one. Huh. It may not be, it may be the worst option if you have a lot of, if you want to play wide, you probably want to use small houses instead, because you get more bang for your buck. Give me all of these, thank you. Can we actually drag this? I'm gonna try dragging it to see if that actually works. 
Cause if it does, it's gonna be pretty dang good. No, the dragon doesn't work. It's okay. All right, we have a ton of food. We are just missing basically a bunch of wood for the storehouse. So let's actually build a few more wood choppers. Not enough workers. The bane of my existence. Not enough workers. Once you get the storehouse, it becomes a lot easier to actually build up. And I've been using a lot of wood on the houses. That's probably why I'm so low. Stuff. Uh, let's get it over here. There's nothing like in this area right now. So I kind of want to build my irrelevant buildings over. I'm not irrelevant. My other buildings uh, over there. I could build like, a little town here. Put me a station to the town hall. But I like building everything close to the town hall. That makes it a lot easier for me. More food for the food god. Alright, we have enough food, we don't have to worry about anything. This is actually is a great location for a tower. We'll definitely get that. First of all, I want to get more wood choppers, if possible. Not enough resources. I don't have enough stone, alright. Actually, we have enough to build this now. We have three on population. Let's build a storehouse that's gonna actually make our life a lot easier. Yeah, it's gonna collect all the food automatically whenever it can. So now we don't have to click on food that's gonna be really good for our efficiency. No worries there. More water. I wish we could like get a fishing boats or something like that. That would be quite, quite nifty. Alrighty, getting a lot of stuff here. We have zero workers, so we definitely want to get to more of those bad boys. There we go. A lot more workers. And we are getting kind of low on stone, so I'm gonna actually take out some mines. That's not free, so I'm missing wood for that. Alright, that's that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I get some more mines. I think I ran out of mines. Sometimes, like, I think you can actually deplete the deposit. Either that or the mines just disappear. I'm not sure, but mines and wood choppers do disappear. Let's actually take an eye on, keep an eye on this one. See what happens with it. See if it actually disappears or if it just the mine disappears. Let's see. Soon enough. There you go. More wood choppers are needed. Not enough resources. What? There we go. I didn't had one there, right? I think I did. Maybe the forest just spread on their own. Not quite sure. Double water. Interesting. I don't think that's useful. Because again, the water is just an obstacle. You cannot do anything with it right now. Oh, okay. Pirates coming. Pirates are coming. Not enough oh, that's bad. That's bad. We need more stone. Oh, shite. How much stone we need? 40 stone? Oh no! Okay, we need more stone miners, definitely. Oh, give me more stone, please. Before I die, give me stone! Get it! Right, go. Kill the, kill the pirates. Thankfully, we had enough workers to fund the arch tower. So that wasn't a problem. Your food's coming up like crazy. We could, we could plant a few more apple trees, I guess. I think the apple trees are really good because they don't require workers. They're just free food. It takes a while for them to grow, but once they do grow, they give you, uh, they give you, I think, five food per harvest or something. Plus two food per harvest. Okay, that's close enough to five when near water is four. It's actually really good. Or pirates. Okay, we have a tower there, so that should not be a problem. Probably want to upgrade the Archer Tower with a barracks. Make it fire faster, kill enemies more quickly. Getting a lot of resources now. It's always good to see. Uh, what do I require most? I actually kind of feel like we could use more food. I guess I'm gonna invest Need more apple trees. I'm gonna also build a farm here, most likely. Let's get some more stone. Uh, where do we have... We don't have any empty stone mine. Not enough workers, alright. We have another stone mine there. We need to expand our town. That's always easy to do. Just place a building down. Four workers, there we go. Easy. Another one over here. In the middle of nowhere. Get a nice little mine here. There we go. Let's 
Apple tree is growing slowly. That's always good to see. There's some more stuff here. We're getting a lot of resources. We could actually start investing some. Yep. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, you can fire at the ship. That was awesome. Great location, man. There we go. You're really fast at firing good stuff. Uh, we can actually improve even more. Get another arch tower here. Make you into a mean killing machine. We can actually get another arch tower over here. I don't really think that's a good idea. But we have two towers that will be able to kill anything that comes close to them. Because they're both upgraded now. Alright, oh, yeah, uh, this thing disappeared. We had this thing, yeah, it, uh... I was right. Lumber mills, they just disappeared. The entire, the entire tile disappears over time. It's good to know. It's gonna pop back up at one point. Let's get some more lumber mills over here. Not enough workers, all right. Let's increase our population. Can. They eat 63 food per day now. All right, thankfully we get a lot more than that. I'm building. Upgrade our ship a bit. I think we could build another farm here. So let's get let's get a, an arch tower here to defend our guys if they come in danger. Let's get a thing here. Let's get a farm for more food. Okay, okay, these guys are in danger. They are actually being fired upon. Uh, not enough. Whoa, shite! More workers too. Uh, bolts. Okay, he dies, he dies immediately, but this area is not defended at all. So I kind of want to get some towers just in case. Get a tower over here, I guess. There we go, we have a windmill. Let's get some more farms. Need more workers. I, last time I didn't actually place towers until my guys were in danger. And I think that's the better course of action. Alright, do so we need more lumber mills? Definitely. Just gotta wait for daytime to actually see where the empty plots are. There's one there, there's like one over here, there's one over here. And I'm low on mines now, so let's do that a few times. Stuff here, awesome. That's the wrong building. A mine here also, wanna do that. Also, let's get this one. I have some easy accessible lumber mills over here. So we can actually just do these. There we go. And I'm gonna like get some more things here. You're gonna die immediately, shipman. You're gonna shoot like once. Awesome. There we go. These farms are gonna be so good. Alrighty. We should be getting incredible amounts of food now. Let's invest some more. Don't want to do it too much though. Okay, dokes. Gonna get some miners, not enough resources really. All right, now let's get some choppers. Get one here. We had a lot of food, guys, but we are still getting food. It's good. They're all very happy. They're never. They've never been hungry. They have never known hunger. They've never known the Hunger Games. All right. Thank God for the storehouse, man, because if I had to click all the food every single time, that would be kind of a pain. But thankfully, there's a good solution for that. I'm getting a lot of wood now. Let's invest some more into a ship. Pirates are coming. Should we'll take out the ship easily. Okay, we definitely... Okay, don't... We don't want an, a barracks next to each tower, I think. Because that allows you to kill the ship before it destroys a tile. Here. 
can also get another thing here. There we go. Getting close to the end because we have a really good resource flow right now. We just hold this instead of clicking. Okay, I want to wait for the food for a bit. Because I, I don't want my I don't want people to starve for no reason. Get more forest. Always good to see that. Free wood. Uh, can you actually get? You cannot get to this guy. Man, that actually sucks. Not an optimal solution, but it kind of works. If someone comes from this side, we are boned. I do want to get a thing here. This requires two workers. Let's get like a thing here, just in case. I continue clicking. We actually have enough wood to finish it. I'm just gonna miss some stone and food. Okay, let's actually stop doing this because we are gonna go low on food again. We don't want to waste all of it. Free wood, always good to see that. We are getting low on uh, metal, on stone, so let's actually get some stone mines. We have a few reasonable slots here. Not enough workers, we can fix that easily. Okay, kind of low on food, but that's all right. Let's give me more stone, and let's also invest in some more wood as soon as we can. Just gotta get some food back. So we don't starve immediately. Pirates coming, we can take him out easily, I think. Have a nice buffer zone there. There we go. Alright, we'll have enough food, I think. I hope at least. Yeah, I'm gonna have enough. We're all large hold on. Did we actually lose the apple trees? I think the, we did lose the apple trees. Huh. Didn't realize we would lose apple trees. Because we only have two right now, we had more, right? Oh, they die out! I see, okay, okay, okay. I just saw them die out, I didn't know that happened. Alright, we have enough food. We actually want to get more apple trees. Okay, I should not have done this at night time. Because our food growth is... Okay, we have enough now. My guys eat a lot of food. Could get another farm going somewhere, but I don't think that's really necessary. Okay, this is actually bad. Um, just get him, please. Thank you. Don't kill my mine, man. Don't kill my mine. No mine killing. Thank you. Let's do that. And hope for more food, honestly. Like, we need... If we have, if we had 200 food right now, we could just finish. Actually, we could try rushing for the ship. For... The next night. Although, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just wait. We're gonna get some apple trees, so we're gonna get more food. Soon enough. We could invest in another farm, but I don't see a good location for it. Like, we had this thing, but we placed a tower there. There you go. Food's coming up quite nicely. More pirates coming, that's okay. Not a big deal at all. He's already dead. Okay, food is looking good. Let's place four more trees. So the only resources that last forever are the farms. Everything else expires after a time. That's good to know. Right, we have enough to feed everyone, that's always good to see. More forests coming up. We actually do want to get more forests. Alright, we're gonna eat now, we're gonna get some food back. Don't want to make him unhappy. Place one of these safely. There we go. Let's invest some stuff. 
Like, we have the entire day. Let's actually invest all we can do. All we can invest right now. Alright, we actually could totally finish this, I think. We need just a little bit more food, and that's about it, honestly. This is gonna be the end of the game, yeah? We're gonna finish the ship. There we go, the ship has been finished. We can expand our population now to get a higher score, but we can just click the ship, and all our people will board it and actually leave. This is a really fun game, and I can't believe it was made over a single weekend. That's kind of insane. Props to the devs, it's really good. I love it. Succeeded! We saved the world! 103 people boarded the ship, oh my god! That is more than... I have fingers! Great job, me. great job. You are incredibly good at this game. You're godlike. Also, we have some nice music. I like the music quite a bit. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. You made it to a bigger world. The end. Yes, I am really happy with my progress. This is a really, really cool game. I would really love if this were expanded to like a full-fledged game that's big and long and awesome. I would really love that. It's really fun. But yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this video here. If you guys enjoyed the game, you can check it out for yourself. The link is in the description. The game is free to download right now, so you can check it out for free. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out a great, great deal. More than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Honey Games. Now we'll see you next time.